the pepperoni has been served. Well done. I think that's Mar uh, Maya. Fortnite Robbie. Yes, Roberto. Cat. Georgia. Natalia. Mr. Ignacio. Who's, uh, Mr. Ignacio made some really good music yesterday. That was really good. I'm very impressed with that. And Andrew. Ooh, nine in. There's some late people today. We're going to have a lot of late people, <laughs> aren't we? Good. Nice to see that. Um, Maya, fantastic that you've got your new laptop there. It's brilliant. Oh, 11 in now. Okay, cool. They're all coming in a little bit late, ain't you guys? A little bit late, ain't you? <laughs> all right, so we've got Sasha coming in and Henry. Henry, I haven't seen you for a while, actually. How have you been? Uh, no problem, Sasha. Great to see you. And Leo, I haven't seen you guys for a long time. Okay, brilliant. Nice to see you all coming in. Brilliant. Okay, so Henry and Leo, can you let me know in the chat? Were you here yesterday? Okay, Robbie, thank you very much for that. Leo was here yesterday. Henry was not here yesterday. Henry, what you need to do, right, is you need to go to code.org, I mean, sorry, code emoji, and open up your coding that you've done so far up to this level, okay? Everyone needs to go over to code emoji. You already know this. You already know the score. Go over to code emoji and start opening up your thing. But make sure, what do we need to do today? <laughs> Mr. Hans always forgets. It's really bad for a computing teacher to forget that. Tell me on the chat box, please. What what did we forget? Yes, well, I didn't think I forgot. You reminded me, which I was really impressed with. That is, once I've done this button for you guys, I can check the chat. Exactly, everybody. <laughs> exactly. We need to make sure we save. Save, save, save. Exactly, Roberto. Were you here yesterday, Roberto? I don't think you were you here yesterday, Roberto? Oh no, 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 no. That's the new code. That's the new code, Roberto. That's the new code that we're gonna do today. Okay, Henry, let me know whereabouts you are. Exactly, save your work. Okay, no problem, Shay. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course, of course, Shay. I think your mum's birthday comes presidents over. Um, good, well done, Henry, over uh, Tech Club. So enjoy. Have a happy birthday to Shay's mum, and have a lovely um, evening, and a, a very happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, we need to do a, uh, we should do a song about that. Okay, guys. Right. We haven't even started. <laughs> sure, so give it a minute. <laughs> right. You shouldn't need help because we haven't started number one and it's we're just picking up from yesterday. Okay, so let's go to our code. I'm going to close the chat now. And we'll, I'm just going to read the code to you. Okay, I'm going to read the code to you. And then we're going to move on. I have a really nice Kahoot. I'm really looking forward for you guys to do. So it's got about 13 questions. So we'll start that in about 10 minutes time. Okay. I'm really looking forward to this. And I'm really looking forward to seeing who gets, who wins this one or who are the top five. Um, okay, guys, here's the chat's going to be closed now. Yes. Don't forget to save your exactly. Okay. So here we go. Let's go into code emoji. Like I said, you could open up your pile. Uh, let's just check Henry's there. Henry, are you? Where we are you here with your open project? Just confirm so we know everybody need, we're in the right place. Oh, what's wrong? Okay, okay, guys, I'll give you maximum a minute to open up your. Okay, okay, uh, Sean, Mr. Sims, are you available? I didn't change leaderboard. You're right, Sasha. It's sitting here on my computer. Um, hi, Mr. Hines. Can I just let Sean know? I remember we did say this work. Um, I was there with him in the uh, yeah. learning room, and yeah. Um, yeah, he definitely did save his work. If you could just remind him where to go. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it from the login. Okay, guys. So I'll do it with you. How about that? I just want to close the chat while we do that. And there we go. Right. So let's log in. Remember, this comes up. Let me go to our Google login on the right hand side. And then I am a student, sign in with Google, and then choose the correct account. You guys mostly know how to do that, so you should be fully aware. I'm Dino the Dinosaur, because I love dinosaurs. On the left-hand side, we have Dashboard, Learn to Code, and My Projects. Make sure you go to My Projects, okay? And once we're in My Projects, you will see that you have your free different Oh, well, sorry. No, you will see that you will have your website here. You just need to click on the pen with the square and that will open that. Okay. And mine's called uh, Mr. Heinz Fun website. And there we are. We are here 
on the code. Can everybody tell me, um, remember if, sorry, <laughs> I'm just reading what Sasha put. Can you let me know if you are not where I am right now, if you're not where I am right now? Remember, guys, I want to try and get onto this Kahoot as soon as possible. So if we can try our best to focus and be there. Brilliant. Fantastic. No problem, Sasha. Exactly. That's what I'm going to show you today. OK. Sorry, say that again, Sean. I D D D on the color coder. Yeah, no problem. We're going to go through it right now. OK. We'll go from the top. All right, let's start now, guys, because I want you to go through to the um, thing. So I'm going to do what I did yesterday. I'm going to go through slowly from line one in the HTML right down to the CSS. OK, so it, 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 we'll, we'll be fine. And by that time, by the time we've done that new bit of code on line three, no problem, Alicia. Um, but if you go over to um, yeah, a lot of late people today, what were you guys doing? And um, uh, if you go over to code emoji and we're going to start continuing doing our website. OK, I'm going to close the chat. Okay, make sure that you're over there. Hey, just to, um, just on a note of that, um, Roberto, obviously, guys, and Shay and whoever else was playing that, just to let you know, from our perspective and from our per, our point and our position as Tech Club Live uh, conductors or teachers, I have to let you know that Fortnite is a 12-year-old uh, game for 12-year-olds, and I don't think, I'm pretty sure nobody in here is 12 yet. And also, just on that as well, obviously, if your parents allow you to play that, that's totally fine. And obviously, that's under their supervision. But from where we are standing as Tech Club Live, I have to let you know that Fortnite is a 12 year, old, uh, a 12 year minimum 12 years old. OK, brilliant. Let's move forward in HTML. So line one in your HTML. Actually, you're going to tell me. Oh, mm, no, we move fast because we got. I want to do that Kahoot. So line one, you already know is. We open the bracket, we hold shift down, open the bracket that's next to M on your keyboard, HTML, we type that. Same thing we did yesterday, and then we press, we close the bracket, we hold shift, and we close the bracket there again. Line two is the body, which is the whole web page, as you can see here, the whole web page. So on line two, we press, open the bracket again, B O D Y, oh, put it in capitals, because I changed that, B O D Y, and then close the bracket again. Fantastic. Okay. You just need those. Even if you've got just opened up your new project, a new project, it will come with those anyway. Let's move to line three. I'm just going to lock my chair. Line three, H1, we understand is a heading. Let's open the bracket. Let's type letter H, and then the letter one. Fantastic. And we close that bracket again by pressing shift, and we close in the other crocodile bracket. Okay. Now, after you've done that, you can put whatever title you want into your website. I've done a Mr. Hines music uh, website. I love music, so I've done, that's why. I've done. Okay. After the word website, as you can see, or after you've done your title, we need to close that H1 tag by doing an open crocodile forward slash, which is right next to the shift. If you've got, um, which is also right next to the closing crocodile, coincidentally, which makes life a bit easier, doesn't it? So H1, H1, and then close that crocodile. Okay, close that crocodile bracket. Line four. Okay, yes, we've got five minutes. I'm going to get through all this code, and then we're going to go to the PS, uh, the code. Yeah. Sorry. Line four. Open bracket. Mark E M A R Q U E E. Then close that crocodile bracket. Fantastic. We know where that is. It's open the next crocodile bracket because we want this to be smaller heading than the title so to get smaller we go higher numbers right so we know that h1 is the largest then h2 will be smaller three four and five and six and i believe that is it maybe seven no i don't mean seven okay so i put h2 and we do exactly the same thing that we've done with the h1 previously open the crocodile h2 close the crocodile then we want to underline the text that's moving from left to right the marquee tag we open the crocodile, put the letter U, well done, Alicia, and close that crocodile, okay? And then you can put whatever title you want to move across the website. Okay. Welcome to my music website. Perfect. Uh, welcome to my music website. And we need to close. Yeah, we need to close. We should close the H2, but it's fine. 
um, we uh, we close the marquee and the underline. We open the crocodile forward slash letter U, close that crocodile, and open a new crocodile, another forward slash, close that marquee, and uh, use that other crocodile there, okay? I want somebody to tell me, you're gonna tell me this part here, what is line five doing? What is it about? You're gonna tell me now, line five. What is it doing and what is it about? Have a look carefully on line five. What is it doing and what is it about? I would like a detailed explanation preferably. I'll wait patiently and whilst I'm waiting. Hmm. Have a look at it. Read it. What's the first letter? It's a paragraph. What's the next word? Well done, Simona. In that paragraph, pretty much. Yeah, well done, Simona. That's right. This connects the CSS and the HTML. And that's going to be on your Kahoot today, guys. So this point is really, 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 really important. Okay. Remember that if we look at this code, it's, yeah. So who said the pepperoni served? Who's that? Is that Maya? Yeah, I think it is. Maya, can you explain that? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Sasha. Let's save our work just in case. Guys, maybe just save your work just in case. And if you need to know that, just down here, save code, click save code, click got it, and it's save code because it doesn't save automatically. Okay, so let's go back here. Who's Pokemon Sword and Shield? That's Finn, obviously. And um, good. Well done, Maya. Okay, guys. So like Simona was saying, I'm going to close the chat for one second. Go over to your code emoji for me, please, Finn. Don't worry. You haven't missed much. Um, who are we talking to? Yes, Simona. Exactly. So someone said this class is like your uniform. Yeah. So what do you mean by uniform? What does that mean in CSS? Chat open. What does it mean in CSS? When, I, when you say our oh, class is like your uniform, what does that mean? in CSS. Exactly. Well done, Simona. How you look, how it looks. Well done. Very good. Very, very good. Well done, guys. Yes. So the design, the style, yeah? Different colors, how it looks. Very, very good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And what's the letter A mean? What does the letter A mean in that code? So you've got P class equals A. Good, Simona. Wow. <laughs> You're natural. Very good. Very good, very good, Roberto. Not necessarily the order, Maya. So, good, very good. So, the class is calling the uniform, the style. And the style of what class? Oh, class A. Yeah? Paragraph class B. So, we, we understand paragraph class B means this text has a style, a class style. This is a class, but this has, but they wear uniform B or they have style B. Yeah, does that make sense? So we have two on there, an A and a B, and they're going to have, are they going to have, actually, that's a good question. Are A and B going to have the same style slash uniform? No, they're not, are they? Well done. Very, very good. You're really understanding it now. I can understand it's kind of sinking. Yeah, they're going to be different, right? They are going to be different. Good. Okay, so let's go back to the code. Now, on line six. Yeah, line six. You already know. You're going to tell me. Well, let's, actually, I'll do it, and then you're going to tell me. So open that crocodile on line six. On the, Next to the letter M. Hold shift to the crocodile down. Div, you already know, is a box, a division, a divider. Divide in a box. Class, what is that style going to be of that class? What is the uniform, if you will? And it equals image. So we understand that anything that has got image down here in class will, will be adding that style to that box, isn't it? And then after we've done that, so it's div class equals apostrophe image, apostrophe close bracket, space, space sorry about that space uh then we open the crocodile again forward slash div and then we close that crocodile then because that's obviously closing that um box right and then we've got p paragraph class equals b so we understand that this class is class b and they will have a different type of uniform right what and i've put after that what type of music do you like 
forward slash BP. I want you now, guys, in the first line of the CSS to tell me what's going on in that CSS. Because this will also be on the Kahoot later on. Good. Now, good, Tiana. Tiana was a little bit more right on that one. That was what I was looking for, because that's the specific, the colour of the body. And then you can say, Sasha and Simona, the colour of the body's background, I think. I think together we've made the correct answer. So, Tiana, very good. It's the colour of the body of the page, which then changes the colour of the background. So, well done, Sasha, Simona, and very well done, Tiana. Okay? So, it's obviously doing that. now. I want, after you've done that code, which most of you have done, I want you now to press, go onto line three on CSS and press enter twice, okay? And let's do this code together and let's understand what's happening together. So on line, on code line three, we're gonna type body. What is it doing? Somebody tell me in the chat. Three, two, one, what? Me typing body in CSS does what? So we understand what we're doing. What does me typing body in CSS do? Links it to the HTML body perfect. That's right. Okay, Mr. Sims, give me a few minutes. Do you mind popping into the um, breakout room with Sean, if you don't mind? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, Okay, perfect. So where were we? Where were we? Where were we? Links to the HTML body. Yep. Links to the HTML body. Well done, Simona. Okay, cool. Let's continue this code. Let's get this code done today. Okay, so we can move on to the thing. Right. So then I have a semicolon. And if you, uh, sorry, no, colon. And if you want to do a colon, you hold shift, look for the letter L and it's next to it, but you need to hold shift, then press um, colon. Okay. And then we've got hover which you guys are going to tell me, most of you already know what that means. Three, two, one, tell me what that means on the hover. What does it mean? Give me a detailed explanation, terminology, terminology, terminology. Well done. That's probably your computer. Maya, check your thing. Mm, that's exactly right, Simona. Very good. Yeah. Well done, Pizza Panda. Uh, I think it's Andrew. I think so. Well done. That's right, guys. Um, I would say Simone and, and Andrew got that right. It's when you put your mouse, when you hover over it, when you hover your mouse over whatever you want that to be hovering, uh, uh, whatever you want that to be hovered on, you it will change color. Yeah, you already understand that. Brilliant. So we, let's type body because that's what we're calling. We're calling the body. We hold shift, colon, and we type hover. Space. You have to put this space because look, if I don't put this space. Oh, it does work. Oh, sometimes things work. Sometimes things don't. Oh, okay. Yeah. So either way, you, do, you don't put the space. It's fine. If you put the space, it's fine. I like to put space. Do you know why? Come and tell me why. What's really important when you're writing your code? Why do I want to put a space in this? Somebody tell me. Exactly, Simone. So it separates it. Well done, Natalia. Yeah, okay, maybe you need to do that. Um, please check your audio if you cannot hear me, okay? Because it does work. No problem, Sasha, that's fine. Yeah, you can do that, Sasha. The point is we have to understand. Copying and pasting doesn't mean that you understand the code. Most of what we're here to teach you is to understand it so that, for example, I know that most of you, if you saw HTML code, you, under, you know what it means, you know what it is, because you understand it, you can recognize it. So it's good to, you can copy and paste the code in, no problem, but what we wanna do is understand what is happening here. And that is the truth about coding, yeah? So after hover, we're gonna put a curly bracket. And if you wanna look for the curly bracket, the curly bracket, if you see the letter P on your keyboard, two spaces there, and you've got the curly brackets there, okay? So let's do the curly bracket, hold shift, do the curly bracket, brilliant, I've just done that. Then space, Background color. Color is an American because obviously um, the code was made. Well, it wasn't even American. I think he's um, Tim Berners Lee, I think, is even uh, uh, Switzerland, I think, or Finland. Born, oh, he's from London. No, I don't even know that. I thought he was from Switzerland. Um, okay. 
Then we want another colon after the color, another colon after the color. Look for the letter L, put another colon in. Fantastic. Space, choose whatever color you want, any color. I've chosen light yellow. And then close it with a semicolon where you don't need to press shift after the word. You can just press the semicolon and then close it with a curly bracket. You don't actually even need to close it with a curly bracket. But like Simone again said, and someone else said, so it's not smushed, so it looks clear, so that I can look at this and say, yep, that makes sense, Back, body background like green. If it's all mushed into one, it's like a bit hard to read. And I think even, ah, that was, oh, yeah, that was it, that was it, that was it. You, ha you cannot have a space, that was what I was talking about, Karen. Body, uh, colon, and hover need to be one word. That needs to be one word. You can't um, separate that, okay? How are we doing? Good, well done. Well done, Simona. Right, okay, I'm not gonna waste too much more time, to be honest with you. And we will probably go over that a little bit again tomorrow. We'll probably go straight into CSS tomorrow, because I think um, most of us have uh, done that. Okay, cool. So I've saved your code. Save your code, code your save. <laughs> Did you save your code? Make sure you save your code, please. Save your code. Well done. Well done, guys. Brilliant. Okay, guys. Fantastic. Shall we move on to the Kahoot? What do you think? Here we go. Let me choose the right screen this time. Do you reckon I'll get it this time? <laughs> there you go. 861 triple four number nine. I'm going to move Mr. Sims and Sean back into the main room. Hi, Mr. Sims and Sean. Sorry to interrupt. Back in. I think it's yeah, better. Do... Sorry? I'll go through with him while he does the Kahoot. I'm just going to teach him the link between the CSS. We're nearly... Okay. You want to do that, yeah? I think it's better, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Sims. No problems. Okay, I'm looking forward to this Kahoot. I'm really. <laughs> who else is in there? We've got 15 in there. Who else is in there? I want to see who, who you're going up against. Who are the who are the challengers today? Okay, we've got everyone. Oh no, Olamidi's not here. We're missing a lot today. Well, a fair, a fair amount. About 10 people missing from the lesson today. Finn, are you here? Where's the Pokemon guy? Yeah, Finn's there. Ignacio's there, isn't he? No, has he gone? Oh, yeah, Shay had to go as well, didn't he? Fair enough. It's probably just one of those days. <laughs> nice one, Georgia. And guys, don't... Oh, what a reminder. Miss Boucherine will be proud of me that I remembered to do this. She has told me to remind everybody. I'm so glad I did actually remind her. Uh, Miss Boucherine said... Right. Yes, I will. If you go onto our, our YouTube, you teach me channel. OK. Miss Boucherine said to look at the removing background video from YouTube before tomorrow's lesson. OK, they. It, yeah, you don't worry about it too much, but it will make your life a much easier. It, uh, tomorrow's lesson much easier if you can look at the removing background video from YouTube tomorrow. OK, so if you go to our YouTube, the UT, just type in you teach me one word and you in. in um... OK, cool. Well done. There's a bit of 3D modeling as well. Um, yeah, I think we should start, Sasha. I think you're right. Um, yes, how to remove background. That's right, Alicia. Good. If you already know it, that's fine. But those of you who don't know it, you can um, really, yeah, let's start this Kahoot. And uh, yeah, so make it make your life much easier for tomorrow's lesson with Miss Boucherie. Okay, guys, HTML CSS 2021. Here we go. Looking forward to this. Oh, what is the CSS calling in HTML? Let's have a look at this. What is it calling? Is it calling red, body, blue, paragraph, yellow, background color, or C or green, class? What is the CSS calling in HTML? 13 correct answers already done. Very good. 
Good, Alicia. <laughs> well done, Sasha. Do you know what? If you find this easy, I am, I am very, very happy. Not bad, guys. Not bad. That's right. So we've still got a bit to work on. We've still got a bit to work on, but that's good. Um, it is calling the body. Eight of you got that right. Well done. Here we are. Somewhere, Rob will crap you. You sure, Rob? I might have to delete that name again. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... I'm, I'll take it as a positive me a meaning, as in you will give us a round of applause, right? Pepperoni, Mr. Hines, and Henry. Perfect. Let's move on. What is the CSS calling in HTML? Is it calling the text in red? Is it calling the body? Is it calling the H1 heading, or is it calling the background color? What is the uh, CSS calling in HTML? <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Sims. Sean, if you want, you can get ready on the to go to the Kahoot page quickly. We've only done two questions. We've got 10 more to do. Ooh, we've got a lot to do. Okay, guys. Good. So some of it's sitting in, some of it isn't. That's right. It was calling a H1 heading. Yeah, good. Seven of you got that right. Very good. What's the change on the board? Rob, well done. Round of applause, Rob. Is that what you mean, right? Somewhere, Mr. Hines, Jigglypuff. <laughs> I wonder who that is. And Queen of Kahoot. I wonder who that is. Which of these is not a programming language? HTMI, Java, C++, or HTML? Which is not, I don't know why that image is there, to be honest with you. Uh, which of these is not a programming language? Should change that. HTMI, Java, C++, or HTML? Which is not a code, guys. Ouch, C++ is a code. It's a very good code as well. It's more for, um, so, so what what you do um no i said it that's why sasha um <laughs> well done simona royal high what's royal high will someone tell me what royal high is please oh okay cool all right okay well thank you very much for that information okay good here we go Queen of Kahoot, literally, Jigglypuff, Dino Nugget, I think it's Simona. Rob will applaud you, and somewhere. HTML, what is the difference between the opening and closing tags? Red, the opening tag starts with a capital, the closing doesn't. Blue, the closing tag starts with a capital, the opening doesn't. Uh, yellow, the closing tag has no forward slash, and the opening tag does. Green, the opening tag has no forward slash, and the closing tag does. Good. Well done, guys. You think you read that faster than I did? Very good. The opening tag has no forward slash. That's correct. And the closing tag does. Very, very good. Not bad, guys. Not bad. It's a good little challenge here. A hyperlink in HTML is coded using a href. This is post HTML5. Yeah. But really and truly, to be honest with you, it's, um, it's the same in, in any other HTML, actually. Come to think of it. <laughs> it was that easy, I think. Good. Well done. 12 of you got that right. You guys are really good. Wow. I'm, I'm on the board. I think that's Georgia. Well done, Georgia. Roberto, Simona, Finn, and Queen of Kahoot, I believe is Natalia. Is this proper indentation? Is this proper indentation? Yes or no? Indentation. Look at your code on code emoji. Is it proper indentation? You've got, you should have proper indentation on your code and code emoji. Yes or no? What is indentation? <laughs> well, that's Sasha. That's right. It's not. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Alicia. So indentation is when it goes. So like, um, so if I quickly show you on my code. That was a, I threw that one in there because you see here, HTML, and then in it, uh, on line two, the body starts halfway through HTML. That's indentation. Yep. And then this part comes here, and then this P class is indentation. That should be indentated as well. So make sure everything looks neat and tidy. That's really important. And you know, let's save our code because I'm going to save my code just in case. If you need to save your code, don't hesitate to do that as well. Okay. Brilliant. Let's move on to the next one. I'm going to quickly change the screen back. There we go. Oh, Jigglypuff. Roberto climbs back 
back up the leaderboard, Queen of Kahoot for Simona and Mr. Hines. What is wrong with this HTML code? Look at it carefully. Oh, I don't know if you can even see the image, but look at it carefully. The bot You've got a minute. So you can take your time. You've got a minute on this one. The red, the body needs to have an ID. Blue, the doc type HTML should be doc type HTML. Body must have an app tag. The title tag does not close. Which one is it? Look at the code. Well, I love this question. I don't even know what the answer is. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know what it is. Yeah. How are we doing? Are you using a computer, Sasha? 10 seconds. Try and zoom in on it. Try and zoom in on it. Yay, well done. Seven. Very, very good. Very, very good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Very good. Who got that right? Queen of Kahoot, well done, Natalia. Very good. And seven of you behind as well. So some of you who, who are not on the podium actually got the right. Which of the following is not a valid HTML tag? Which is not a valid HTML tag? Have you seen the P tag before? Have you seen the HTML tag before? Have you seen the SVQ tag before? Have you seen the B tag before? Yes or no? This one is quite easy. Very good. Well done. Is the SVQ the P the B tag? I think is bold. I can't remember. I think strong is bold actually. Uh, Julie Puff, Queen of Kahoot, Rubble Clap, uh, Simona, and Pizza Panda. What is wrong with this code? It period in div tag, improper indentation, missing semicolon. Improper closing div tag. What is wrong with this code? I reckon a lot of you will get this right. And that is impressive. You know, that's what people get paid to do, right? They get paid to like, so there's people that will do coding, right? And there's people, will, they'll give it to somebody else. They'll give their coded program to somebody else. Like what we do here kind of thing. And someone else will check it. What you guys are doing is checking that code, seeing if there's any problems and say, oh yeah, that's where the issue is. That's where the issue is. Very good, very good. Um, well done. That's right. Improper closing tags, improper dentation. No, the, in, the indentation was really good actually on that one. Oh, uh, Pizza Panda's jumping to third. What an upsy downsy one. Okay, so Queen of Kahoot is chasing after Jigglypuff. Pizza Panda jumps into third. Roberto will applaud you, and Dino Nugget, which is Simona. What is the CSS calling in HTML? What is it calling? Is it calling the body? Is it calling paragraph A? Is it calling paragraph B? Or is it calling the class? Look carefully. Oh, sorry, maybe because I put my hand over my mouth. That's probably why you didn't hear me before. Remember? What did we do? What class is it? Ah, that was a hard one, wasn't it? Who's Kitty? Kitty, you need to check your... Uh, Sound, it's Georgia. Other capitals. Okay, we go. Oh, Finn, Finn and Natalia battling it out here. Uh, Roberto, Peter Pan, and Mr. Hines back on the board. What HTML tag is used for inserting a paragraph? I don't even need to tell you. Is it chart? Some text close chart. P some text close P. Para some text close para. And pre, some text close pre. What is what HTML tag is used for inserting a paragraph? I'm very impressed with you guys. But there has been a few things we need to work on, but that's great. Well done. Well done. I expected a lot of answers on that one. Oh, John and Talia jumps over Jigglypuff. Can you believe it? She's going again. She's going for gold. What is a comment in CSS and HTML? I didn't actually, I don't think I've shown you this, and that's something I want to move on shortly. Critique to help the web developer improve. Short pieces of text about things. Long pieces of text about things. Text not seen on the website, only by the writer. Look at the, uh, 
Yeah. Oh, well done. You guys are really good. I'm not even joking. Okay, good. Really good. Text not seen on the website, only by the writer. Roberto moves in the second. Roberto's been all over the place today. He's done really well. He's gone down, gone up, gone up, done down. Andrew's jumped into third. Jigglypuff. Finn, gone down to fourth from first. And Simona in fifth. Natalia at the top. Last question. The following HTML elements are self-closing. Are they self-closing, yes or no? HTML5, remember? This is HTML5, obviously, because you already know that previous to that, you had to close the tags. Now, you don't actually necessarily have to close the tags. They're kind of, they are self-closing. Exactly. Well done. Right? They're self-closing. Fantastic. Okay. Brilliant. Let's see who won that one. In third place, let's have a congratulations for Pizza Panda. I think it was Andrew. Very good, Pizza Panda. In second place, Roberto. Roberto, you did really well. Well done. Good battle. And uh, first place, the Queen of Kahoot. Natalia, you are on fire, I must say. So that's one from yesterday and one from today. Jigglypuff, well done, Finn. And Simona, well done. Fantastic. Okay, so that is one more for Natalia. So I think Natalia is actually currently winning. I'll, I'll, try, I'll tell you what the points are. I've got Natalia on six, Andrew on five, Tiana on three, Roberto, Ignacio, Finn, Simona and Tanya all on one. Really good. Well done. <laughs> Natalia. Okay. <laughs> Hi, guys. How's it going? I know. Sorry. I know, Natalia. I will do that. I'm going to hand over to Mr. Sims now. He's better than me. What Mr. Heinz just said is very true. So how are you doing, guys? How are we doing? So do you all know how to get onto Clip Champ? Let me just get my screen share going. So here we are. Can we all go to our projects? Guys, does anyone need me to show you how to do that again? Okay. No problems. Anyone else, guys, let me know. Henry, I don't know what that is, but can you stop spamming it, please? Okay, Sean, uh, once us, Mr. Hines, can you take him into a breakout room? That would be really cool. But Sean, just follow the lesson for a bit. Yeah, sorry, let me put that, let me put that in chat sorry about that guys no no no. i mean i've done it i've done it mr sims yeah okay amazing yeah, yeah. thank but you if you put it in the chat i'll put it in the chat what i was going to say uh yeah do you want me to take him into a uh, thing i don't know if it's all good okay yeah let me just show you how to log in again um sean and for people who don't know so if you could just everyone could just bear with me if you already know so guys we go to app clintchat.com and then we go and press the login button which will be in the top right here if you're not on this page and it will take you to this page that i'm on um guys are we all following it up to now that's it thank you sasha um seem everyone seems good then you press sign in with google not sign in with the others and sign in with your desired email account okay <laughs> that's that's a shame i think i can sign in on my man like Oddie one i'm not sure if my, the same video is there Okay, I'm going to have to get Mr. Hines to give me the uh, login for that. But then you should be... You teach me login. Yeah, can you give it to me? Because it's, I've been using that for the lesson. Sorry about this, guys. No, I'll, I'll send it in the private chat to you now. Thank you. So bear with me, guys. Let me just get this. Um... Guys, you should be logging in anyway whilst Mr. Sims is doing Yeah, that. if you can all log in and go to your projects, you know the next step from that, guys, is to go to your projects. Yeah, you already know, guys. No problem, Maya. Mr. Sims is going to go every, go through everything with you now. Yeah. Very good. So, guys, go to app.clipchamp.com. I'm going to do it one more time. Sign in with Google. If you can. Sorry about that, guys. No problem. Uh, Mr. Sims, I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to go into the uh, breakout room. Is that okay? It, yeah, absolutely fine. I will keep some looking into my man like Holly. What my uh, 
sign out of there. Sorry about this, guys. Please just bear with me. I've got to re sign in. I'm going to stop the screen share, guys, if you can all be uh, logging in. So I just got to log into another email quickly. If you can all log in and go to the recent project we've done, though, guys, let me just. Um, I wasn't expecting it to log me out like this. Guys, if you can put in the chat while I'm doing this, uh, 16 by 9 is the, what's the missing at the end of the sentence? 16 by 9 is the, put it in the chat, guys, and I'll be back on to that. What, what, what is it, guys? Let me have a look. Yes, that's it. Pokemon on sword and shield is the aspect ratio. Yes, that's it. It's the aspect ratio. Yeah, that's the uh, link, guys. Can we stop putting the links in there now? That's enough. We're not, let's not talk about Roblox in here today as well while we're in the lesson. Anyone else know what 16 by 9 is? Uh, if you could put it in the chat. Only got two answers there, guys. Thank you, Simona. Fantastic. Thank you very much. I'm just going to share my screen again now, guys, so if you could please just bear with me. So, guys, we're in ClipChamp. And so once we're all on this page and we've all logged in via Gmail, you need to click on this, your last video, which will automatically be saved. I'll say this one as you teach me. And here we are, we're on the video. Let's see what I've done now. Gaming video, it's actually got some music. I don't think you can hear it. Let me turn this down quickly. Yeah, and then it goes on to my gaming video. Remember what we did last time, we learned how to put music in, and we also learned how to do a start screen for our video with a title. So guys, have we all managed to do the start screen for our videos? Nice one, Sasha, nice one, Simona. Okay, Olamidi, have you managed to get some content in there for your video? Nice one, Georgia. Thank you. Okay, Olamidi. Um, remember, as part of your homework, you was meant to do that, so I advise you just to listen and um, get some content. Um, if you can actually check out the last lessons I've done are on you, the You Teach Me YouTube, Olamidi. So, um, yeah, if you could check that out and try and catch up, and it also shows you how you can put your own content on there. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead, because um, remember, we're learning how to do this video professionally this time. Um, so we've got the start, and now we've got the middle. And what I want to do is I want to split this video and attach it to another bit of video, and I'm going to combine the two using a transition. Uh, a lot of you know what a transition is, um, so if you can just watch what I'm doing here, guys. So... I'm going to move my mouse down here to the cursor. Nice one, guys. And I'm going to move it over my video here in the timeline. I'm going to click the split tool because I'm going to take this end bit of video off here. I'm actually going to delete it because I don't want to use it again. I can always get it back from my original video. I'm going to want to attach it to this bit of video here. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to use the split tool when I split this bit of video off there. I'm going to drag this in. You can see there. And I want it to connect. So as you can see, guys, um, the two bits of video are next to each other. And let me just do that again. Actually, I'm going to take this back. You don't have to do this bit right now. We did learn how to do this. If you want to do that, I'm just going to shorten that. So I want there to be a clean, a, a clear split between the two. So, okay, that that is quite dramatic without a transition, guys. Do are we all following that? So, guys, do we all agree that that cut one to the other isn't that great without a transition? It's very just one to the other. Nice one. 
Nice one, Roberto. Nice one, Sword and Shield. Nice one, Georgia. Nice one. Uh, you can download it and you, you can do that, of course, of course, there's ways of doing that. I'll show you in the next, we've got two more lessons after this, guys, so I'll show you how to download it, how to share it, and we'll all watch our videos, guys. So, um, yeah, but on this one, I want the videos to have a beginning, a middle with a transition and an end, and uh, some video you've made in the middle. So, guys, let's go back to ClipChamp. So, there, Okay. Well, that's all good because I'm going to add a transition. How am I going to do that? I'm going to click the transition button. And I'm going to use wipe up. Let's use wipe up. And it actually, look, it shows you where you can add it. Add it on the plus sign. So was that a lot better to have a look? Yeah, it's a lot smoother, isn't it? And I think actually, guys, you can increase the transition. So I'm going to put wipe up, actually, I prefer that. And then here, you can increase the duration just by using this slide, this slidey tool here to how many seconds. So I'm going to increase the seconds just to make it a bit more obvious there is a transition. I'm going to go back. Sorry about that, guys. Go back. There you go. It's swiped up. And we saw that, and it's less, way less dramatic now, and a lot neater now. There in the middle. Okay, Sasha, let me let me make that a bit longer then, to see if you know the difference then, because it was quite short. Let's make it over one second. Let's have a look now, Sasha. See now, that's a lot smoother, isn't it? And you do actually notice it, but it's quite a calm transition. Did you see that, Sasha? Did that look? Did that? Do you think? Did you notice that a lot more? Okay, Tiana, the whole the whole thing. I'll show you the, the transition again. Okay, so let's go back to Clip Champ, guys. I'm gonna play it. Can we see? Did you see that? It wiped up. Yeah, nice one, nice one. I mean, that you don't want it to be too obvious either, guys. You don't want it to be an obvious transition. You want it to be seamless, but you also want it to tie the two pieces of content together. So guys, um, I'm gonna quickly ask you now, what is a transition? Yeah, it's a merge, John, exactly. Yes, that's a nice one. Natalia, what's a transition? Yeah, it's kind of an effect. Exactly. Nice one, Roberto. Very, very good. Yeah, it's more tying the two together. You can use an with an effect, but a transition doesn't always have to be an effect. Because effects can go in places where there isn't a transition. It's mainly tying the two pieces content together. Okay, guys, so uh, give me a one if you're all happy with what a transition is. And give me a two if not. Nice one. Nice one, guys. Nice one. And guys, I'm going to give you all two minutes to add your transition. So um, I'm going to make another one as well so you can Watch me do it while you add yours. Remember to use the split tool if you want to split any content off, guys. You can use the backspace to delete video that you don't want. That's off the timeline now. I'm going to add another bit using a transition. Just so you guys know. So you click the transition tool on the left-hand side here. We're going to go for, let's go for a glitch reveal. That'd be quite a cool one. And let's make the duration quite a lot. That's quite cool, isn't it? So guys, there's so many different transitions you can, you can add. You see it is nice one, Sasha. Some of the transitions on the left guys, the transition tool. 
And next week, what we're going to do, so we've got a beginning, we've got a middle with some transitions, and then we've got an end. Okay, guys, I'm going to get the Kahoot set up now, so I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to go to Kahoot. We're going to play it. Guys, get ready. We're going to be doing a Kahoot soon. There we go, guys. And the pin is 3280007. And you guys know what web, you know the website, right? Yes, I will be. I'll be showing you how to do an end. I'm going to give you some homework to finish off your videos. I'm going to show you how to share the videos. So remember in the next lesson, and then I want you to go home finishing off your videos. And then I want a full beginning, middle, and end video from you guys. If it hasn't got that, don't submit it because it won't be shown unless it's got the beginning with some text, the middle, and an ending. Uh, and I want the middle to have some transitions in it too. So guys, if you can all join the Kahoot, that would be amazing. Um, I'm not sure how many are here today, actually. Not too many. So I'm going to give it another minute for you to all join the Kahoot. There's a few questions we've done in there today, and you've done some of these questions before. So um, I'm expecting some high scores. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 15. I, I want to see a couple more in there. A couple more into that Kahoot, guys, and then we'll be ready to go. 14, 13 is, where I'm, is when I'm starting. So uh, join in, guys. You've got another minute, 30 seconds to a minute. Still only 12. Okay, we're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go. I've had enough now. We're starting. I can't wait any longer. Video editing. Three, two, one. It's a quiz. <laughs> what do we use to edit our videos? Clipchamp, Premiere, Biteable, or Mr. Sims is Nan. Which one is it, guys? All 12 of you got it right. Well done. Oh, nowhere top. Ooga booga second. Sasha, Queen of Kahoot is third. Hey, your pizza is fourth. Stanhope, amazing, is fifth. What is a transition, guys? An end of the video, text overlay, phone a friend, something that ties the two bits of video together. Which one is it, guys? Great. Whoever said the end of the video, not true. Whoever said text overlay, not true. It's something that ties the two bits of video together. Well done, guys. Say if you got it right to see the leaderboard. Oh, Stanhope Amazing went top. Nowhere went into second. Sasha third. Olamidi fourth. Well done. Queen of Kahoot fifth. True or false? We had a transition using the transition icon. True or false? Nice. It's true, guys. It's not false. We used the transition icon when adding it, especially in Clipchamp. Nowhere's gone top. Ugga Booga, Sasha in second. Queen of Kahoot third. And Ola Maley fourth. Stanhope Amazing gone to fifth. The leaderboard's up and down. How do we put the video in the timer? Click it, click and drag, use the mouse, ask Mr. Hines to do it. Two more answers, guys. Come on. You've got a while to answer it. 15 seconds, though. That's it, it's click and drag, guys. Nice one, all 12 of you got it right. Let's see what the leaderboard's saying. Stan Hope Amazing went up into fourth, Queen of Kahoot into fifth, but that's it, the rest is the same. Nowhere still top. Fifth question, what one of these is a video file? 
MP3, Mr. Hines, WAV, or an MP4? That's correct. It's an MP4, guys. Well done. A WAV or an MP3 or Mr. Hines is not a video file. Nowhere still top. Well done, Nowhere. Stanhope amazing second. Olamide third. Queen of Kahoot fourth. And we're missing some because the face has come into fifth. All right, guys. What is the timeline? What is the timeline? Where we edit pictures, where we edit video, a historic timeline, where we put things to say. Which one is it, guys? Come on, I know you know this. I know all of you know this. Back to the chat. <laughs> Come on, guys. No, no giving away the answers. All right, let's go next. Queen of Kahoot third. Face in fourth. He's going up the rankings. Pizza Bob Jeff in fifth. Well done on the leaderboard. Nowhere still top, though. Can anyone can anyone topple nowhere? Clip Champ is a browser-based editing program. True or false? That's so quick, guys. Well done. It's true, guys. It's true. Nowhere still top. No change. That was so quick. True or false? Dot web is a video file. True or false, guys? It's false. Well done. All 10 of you got it right. What's happened to the leaderboard? It's changed. Henry's in fifth. Well done, Henry. Pizza Bob Jeff in fourth. Queen of Kahoot in third. Stanhope amazing and nowhere top. How do we log in on ClickChamp? Via Google, via Facebook, ask our pet dog sign up form. Via Google, well done, straight in, guys. Oh, there's one more question. Can nowhere be topped? 16 by nine is the frame size, aspect ratio, really good band, audio editing. Well done, guys, it's the aspect. You guys are clever at your video. Top is, third is, sorry. Queen of Kahoot, well done, well done. Top three, Stanhope amazing second, and I'm guessing it's nowhere top. Well done, who's nowhere, who is it? Let me know in the chat. Well done, fifth, Pizza Bob Jeff, uh, fifth, Olamide, fourth, Pizza Bob Jeff. Well done, guys. Wow, that was a really good Kahoot, all really fast, weren't you? All really, really fast, let me take that off now. Let me stop the video sharing. It was nowhere, by the way. Who won? No, it wasn't you, Teach Me, Pines, was it? Well done, Tiana. Well done. If it definitely was you, well done. All right. Um, well, that's actually it. I know it's a bit early, guys, but I just want to go through transition and all in one um, sitting. I don't want to give you too much. Remember, guys, um, go over your transitions, experiment with them at home. Keep adding to that video that we're going to all play on the last lesson because, guys, we don't want to be falling behind with that. And like I said, if you don't send me the video that's a full piece this time, it's not going to happen. Nice one, guys. Nice one. Mr. Hines, anything to say? Uh, I can't hear you, Mr. Hines. Can you hear me now? I can, yes. That's what, yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So, um, thank you very much, Mr. Sims. I didn't see all the lessons, so I'm sure it was a fantastic lesson, though. Um, I see that everyone's getting involved as, as, as much as possible. Very good. Well done. We've had a bit of an increase in people coming in now. Not you late today, but that's not a, that's not a big problem as long as you're here. And um, yeah, can we get a big TYSM for Mr. Sims? That's fantastic. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. On a maybe, remember to get some video for your homework and put that into the timeline. Olamide and um, yeah, anyone else who hasn't done it. Thank you so much, guys, for today's lesson. You were all great. And thank you, Mr. Hines. Um, fantastic lesson from you as usual as well. I thought you're you actually my favorite teacher. I thought you were going to say just for being Mr. Hines. Thank you. But no. Thanks for just being here, Mr. Hines. Thank you. <laughs> Keeping the walls up. OK, yeah. guys. All right, sorry. All right. Uh, pepperoni, what's the question, please? While you have Mr. Sims here, he's yeah, a very, we've got very, very busy man. I don't have to, yeah, it's no, no rush. Why do you have a beard? 
Oh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, it's a good question. You know, in lockdown, there isn't any barbers open, so I have to do it myself. So I can only really cut it when I've got time. It will be cut for the next lesson. Perfect answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes like an hour to do by yourself, you know. It's not. Yeah. Uh... Anyway, also, guys, you, yes. um, also you're oh, a man, so you grow yeah. up. <laughs> it's kind of a natural thing, and yeah, um, I, I think you really like this. Tea, the end of the lesson, don't you guys? It's the best time where you can spam yeah. up the chat. <laughs> yeah. Finally, no one's no one's saying anything about the TYSMs because Mr. Heinz told you to say that. Yeah, immensely. You yeah. really love spamming it up. <laughs> I, guess I think we should fun. just have one lesson where we just let you spam the chat. Would you like that? Would yeah. you like a lesson where you just spam the chat for an hour? <laughs> but you're not allowed to mention TikTok uh, no, no, or, no, no, no. or Roblox, no. by the way, guys. No, but um, I, feel like you, I feel like you guys just love spamming chats. Okay, cool. Anyway... <laughs> I must admit, once I've been watching, I was watching Mr. Evans' lesson yesterday. I was kind of spamming the chat a little bit. Um, <laughs> it's, a little bit it's, it's a bit addictive. Um, okay, guys. So, as I can see, thank you, Mr. Sims. Tomorrow, no guys, make sure you go and watch that video of Miss Boucherine doing removing the background. Go to our YouTube channel, You Teach Me. And, Mr. Sims, what's happening on Thursday? On Thursday, we're going to be playing some learning games, aren't we? And it's a free lesson for everywhere, everybody around the world can join. So, um, yeah, we're all going to be having a load of fun. And you can even challenge me and Mr. Hines at some keyboard games, I guess, if uh, Mr. Hines can get that set up. So that will be, yeah, it's going to be loads of fun. So make sure you're, yeah, can, Boris Johnson could join. <laughs> yes, at least. <laughs> I mean, it will be. <laughs> you might be busy. Potentially. But more, more, more likely, he's probably not busy. So he probably will be there. Yeah. Uh, it's still going to can join. Okay, yeah. So like um, Mr. Sims just said, Thursday, invite all your friends. We will be having our um, Kahoot, uh, it'll be a Kahoot party. We'll be doing Nitro type party. We'll be doing five minute challenges. And there was one other thing that was on the poster that I forgot to mention. What was it? Keyboard. Was it the keyboard game this time? That's Nitro typing. We've got Kahoot. Yeah. We've got five minute challenges. And there was something else. Uh, who can remind me? Who can remind me what was the other thing I was, was going to do? I can't remember. Maybe it's something it's no, it wasn't 3D modeling, it was something else. 3D modeling is for the course, guys. That's a Thursday, Tanya. This Thursday, do you know we don't usually do the lessons on a Thursday? Just to know that, you know, obviously on Thursday it's going to be more of a party, relaxed thing. And, uh, but because um, we're going to give you a break from the hardcore course that we have you on at the moment, okay? So it's good to have a little break. And then you can bring all your friends in and you can talk to all the people that you may have may, may not be able to talk to during lockdown, okay? Yeah, five-minute challenges. We said we're going to do five-minute challenges or something else. But great, guys. Let's uh, leave it there. And we will see you tomorrow. Miss Boucherie, you got your coding. I'm going to finish up one more level of CSS. And then we will do – I'll probably make that Kahoot maybe a little bit harder because you guys – a couple of you swam it. But I want to make it just a tiny bit harder bit more thought process in it and so i'll do that i'll edit that and bring that in for you tomorrow miss boucherine and then thursday is our party are our videos going to be on what henry are their videos going to be guys stop spamming for one second because i want to read henry's message on the are your videos going to be on the party We'll, we'll think about that. We'll think about that because obviously what we need to do, that was an idea I wanted to do. I wanted to show everyone about your music and your videos um but we'll see if we've got time we'll do it if we've got time we'll do it how about that but also we have to understand that the new students that will be coming in haven't done this and etc cetera, etc cetera. so we will um try and make it fun for them as well all right so let them know i know um natalia you want miriam to come in so you can uh on party can we can we do free for all spamming <laughs> I, I'll leave that with Mr. Sims. You have to speak to Mr. Sims about well, it. I would say, I would say you wouldn't have, you'll be getting so much involved in the games that you wouldn't have to do any spamming. There you go. How about that? Yeah. You'll be getting so involved in the games you wouldn't have to be doing any spam spamming. Brilliant. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. That spamming is really hurting my eyes now. <laughs> and I'd like to see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. And on Thursday, same time, same place. And tell your friends. At least bring one friend. Why not? share the education okay guys have a lovely evening take care and goodbye love you <laughs>